Hey, I'm Tommy. Hey, I'm Tommy Beal. I'm a commercial director of photography who just moved from Jackson, Mississippi to San Francisco, California because of that little girl right there. She came into my life and my wife and I realized that it would be the best thing for our family to live near the rest of our family. And the rest of our family is in the San Francisco Bay Area. So yesterday we got in airplanes and flew across the country and landed here in a city called Moss Beach, which is right next to San Francisco. And I have no connections. I have no jobs lined up, but I had this feeling inside of me that everything is gonna be okay. God's taken care of me up to this point and he just gave me a lot of peace about coming out here and pursuing director of photography work full time. Um, so I, I thought I would take you on that journey with me, starting with no jobs lined up, starting with no one in the industry out here knowing that I'm here or even caring and seeing what we could grow that into. So I don't have any work lined up. I don't have anything lined up. I have two jobs to finish from Jackson, Mississippi. One is a documentary about a soccer team, a college soccer team in Jackson, Mississippi. And then another one is a commercial for, a, is a spec ad actually, it's not even paid, uh, for a sunglasses company called Quay. It's an Australian sunglasses company. Um, yeah, we're really excited about that one. But like, really excited about both of them, really. And so that's really, that's all I have. I, I just have some of my gear. Uh, I have one bag of gear, I'll show you. Right here, this is what I traveled with. Um, the main camera I was shooting on in Jackson, Mississippi was a Sony A7C. And I love the work that we produce with this camera. Um, and the lenses that I use, I use DZO film lenses. I've got a set of three of them, 21 millimeter, 35 millimeter, 50 millimeter. I love cinema lenses that are just completely manual focus like that. They feel great. And I've just got some basic things like lighting, ND filter, screen, things like that. Um, and then we, and then I, and then I have other gear that's getting shipped out, um, which I've kind of built up my gear setup by by working at a production company, and then freelancing on my free time and using that spare money to build up my gear to the point where I feel like I can do freelance full time. Blah. So that brings us to today, where we just got in from Jackson, Mississippi, a little girl there, a beautiful wife back there, eating Takis, and and um, we have a, a new setup. This is the setup we're working with. We've got a Studio Mac over there. Um, we're inside of um, her parents' spare room at their house. So we're, we don't even have our own apartment yet. We're just staying at family's house. And then we have a, a brand new camera, our first studio camera. So this is the Sony, well, I guess it's not a studio camera, but more, more of a production camera. Um, but we've got a Sony FS7 and Mark, Mark II, which is an older camera with just awesome capability. Um, I got really sold on this camera after this documentarian named Luke Forsyth or something like that. Highly, highly recommended it. And then I found about, uh, about this LUT designer. I forget his name, but he, he made these LUTs called Phantom LUTs. And he designed them originally around this camera because he owned this camera and he owned an Airy, Airy Amira, and he wanted this camera to match the Airy Amira. So he made a pack of LUTs that make this camera look like an Airy. And once I saw that footage, I was blown away. I was like, oh my gosh, that is gorgeous. Um, and I, so this kind of just came in at perfect, perfect timing. It was very nicely priced and uh, we can do nice things that would be helpful for production. Like we've got, XLR inputs, we, we can do time code, we can do gin lock, and um, just super helpful. It's, 
lots of buttons on it so I can just get used to the feeling and not have to just be on a menu all the time. So anyways, real excited to be working with that. It's very confusing to me. I don't have a grasp on it yet. Um, but this is kind of where we're at. We're just out here. Our bank account has gone way down and we'll probably survive like a month or two. Um, and we don't have our cars yet too. <laughs> we're just borrowing friends' cars in the area, friends or family. But yeah, this is kind of the journey we're on and I just feel like everything's gonna work out. And and so I thought I'd just take you on that journey and just, just be candid and honest and open with you and hopefully from this, maybe some cool connections will happen. Basically, my, my whole game plan for getting work in the area is real simple. It's just connect with people that I want to work with. So grab coffee with people, just talk to people, get to know people in the industry. I'm focusing on people like I'm fo focusing on advertising agencies and production companies and creative agencies. I think those will probably be my main clients. Um, yeah, but I, so my my goal is to just my plan is just to spend time connecting with people and just be a friend to people, become friends with people, and then spend time just ho honing my craft and just perfecting it and just keep getting better. So if I have a lot of downtime. I'm gonna use it to either talk with people, grab co coffee with people, or just shoot, just practice shooting things. Shoot something free for a local business or something like that. Because every time I've done something like that, it's always led to something good. So that's the journey we're on. That's the plan. If you don't wanna stick around, see what happens. I'd love to have you. All right, I'll see you later.